Hi guys, my name's Melanie Newman and welcome to our grooming channel. In today's grooming session, I'm going to share with you guys how I bath Bella the Maltese. She has been in a few other videos, you may have seen her in one of our live videos where we were cutting her hair, but today I'm going to share with you guys how I bath her and prep her coat for um, a good haircut. So let's just jump straight into it. So Bella is a Maltese and she does have a drop coat. So what that means is that her coat is usually long, which I cut her hair quite short. It's usually half an inch on the body and I usually scissor her legs a longer length. But a Maltese does have long, silky textured coat. So what that means is that we need to use different products. So today I'm going to be using the everyday collection so what that does is it's formulated for drop coated breeds and it is a heavier product because a Maltese with their silky coat the coat should actually drape over their body so it shouldn't stand up like a poodle or a curly coat so Bella is a little bit dirty in her behind she's had a little bit of an accident this morning which is perfect for a day of grooming so it's a little bit messy, which a lot of people can relate to, which is perfect with the everyday collection because it does have tea tree, peppermint and eucalyptus. So it's going, not only going to gentle cleanse her body, it's actually gonna clean her little rear end really well. Okay guys, so I'm going to begin by just placing the water on her back first and letting it fall down her legs. And it's important when we wash a drop coated breed that we're not going up into the coat like this because it can actually cause knots and tangles. So if she had longer hair, it would actually tangle the ends of the coat. So it's really important that we just keep the water just sort of flowing gently over their coat. And I've also popped a non-slip mat at the bottom of the bath, so this will help her feel really super comfortable and not slide around my the shampoo and the conditioner's on. Pop up, Dale. So gently washing her little rear end. It's a bit smelly. I think she gets a little bit embarrassed about it. Good girl. And then just letting the water just fall over their little legs and down their feet. So I know that Bella gets a little bit funny about water over her head. So I just turn the water down and I'm just using the corner of the, the nozzle so it's not a really hard flow forced water. It's still sort of, see she just doesn't really like it. It's just gently going over her little face. It's all right. Good girl. And the water is a lukewarm water, so it's not um, too hot, it's just nice and warm. Good girl. So I'm going to begin with the back of her and then working down her little legs and then her feet and then her head last and then we are going to rinse her head first and then her body, legs and then feet. And you can see when I'm shampooing her I'm not scrubbing through with my hands because again it is a drop coat so we don't want to cause any unnecessary knots or tangles and they do have quite a silky coat so um, for me, I want to keep it nice and healthy and strong and sometimes when we scrub too much, it can actually cause a little bit of breakage. Moving down her little feet. And again, just gently working the product through the coat. It's important when we do start shampooing their legs, that we don't move their legs above their shoulder or above their hip. Try and move their legs in a way where it's their natural movement. So just forward, never out and high because it can be too uncomfortable for them. Just 
just rinse the shampoo off my hands from her little rear end first before I do her face. And then just gently working the shampoo through her head and through those little whiskers. And it is quite hard, I know, because I do have white dogs to keep this nice and clean, but when we condition, I will go through the importance of conditioning this area. But first we need to make sure it's really super clean. So just gently working through with my fingers. Okay, so now we're going to rinse the first lot of shampoo off. And like I said before, we are going to begin with her little face. And just a gentle flow of water. And then when I rinse her body, I'm going to turn the water up a little bit. And then working it down her little legs. We are actually going to shampoo her twice and I normally, well I would say every time I bath a dog, I shampoo twice. So the first shampoo actually breaks up any dirt, any pollution, pollen, anything in the coat, so it helps break that up. While the second shampoo actually gets a dog 100% clean, but it also nourishes the coat with all the botanicals that it, that's in the product. So it's the same process, so starting with the back, working down our legs, our feet, her little behind, tail, her head, and then her, oops, her little muzzle, and then rinsing with her head first, and then her body feet last. So you guys would have seen in the past that I use a glove with other dogs to help disperse the shampoo. And the reason I haven't this time is, again, I don't want to make any unnecessary knots in her coat. So just working the product downwards, in a downwards direction. Okay, so she's finished being shampooed, so her coat is really, really squeaky clean. If there are any areas that need extra, so extra shampooing, so pores, muzzle, their rear end, you can do like a quick third one, that's no problem at all. But she's really clean and smells good already. So we are going to use the everyday conditioner and when choosing a conditioner for a drop coated breed, it's important that not only are we going to nourish the skin and moisturize the skin, but we also need a product that's really going to assist in allowing that coat to, to drop more and not making it stand up and frizz out. And remember, this is a drop coated breed. So the everyday collection is a heavier collection, so it will help assist that coat with being pulled down. So when I'm applying the conditioner, I really like to work the conditioner through the areas where the dog might have a little bit more staining, or um, especially around the paws, muzzle, um, their tail, their ears, if they have really super long ears. Oh look, she's shy. So um, it will help hydrate the coat and what that actually does is strengthen the coat. So when we are, when the dog's being groomed and it's gone home and it's walking and it's playing in the park or outside, that the, the coat isn't going to start to knot up as much and it's going to be a lot more manageable for the owner at home to brush out any little knots and tangles caused by playing or wet grass or anything like that. So really working that conditioner through the coat. If your little Maltese has any little knots and tangles while you're bathing, this is a great time while the conditioner is on to then 
use your little brush or a comb to remove any knots and tangles and it can also be great if you need to remove any grass or grass seeds, little burrs, anything like that. The reason we brush our dog's coat while the conditioner is on because if it doesn't have the conditioner in the coat it's more likely going to break the coat and once that coat breaks it's actually damaged and then the dog's coat is more susceptible to staining more susceptible to knots tangles things like that so it actually just keeps the coat really really healthy and moisturized keeps it in really great condition and I don't know what your dogs are like at home but especially my dogs and my Bichons they always get these little bits of hair that's quite matted and they have little bits of um, dirt and grass and all sorts of things in it so this is a good time to use your little slicker just to help remove those little knots and tangles. Okie dokie so once we've removed all the little bits of food, grass, whatever she's been playing in, in we can then um, use our little eye comb to help remove any build up in front of those eyes. So this is just a really fine tooth comb and I just like to gently comb through those little bits of hair. She does get a build up as well. She is a very social little girl so she's always outside. So before we start the rinsing process, I'm just going to give her a sweet little massage just to help her relax into the bathing process. Okay, so this is our final rinse and I usually rinse for a good three, maybe sometimes five minutes. She has a lot of conditioner in today because her coat was a little bit dry and I want to add as much moisture as I can to her coat. So again I'm going to begin with rinsing her little head first, working down her body, her little legs and then her feet last. Okie dokie guys, so she is completely rinsed and her coat has no more product in it. So I've rinsed it all out and it is squeaky clean. We like to rinse off all the rinse out conditioner. So the rinse off conditioner, that's what we call it. Um, because if we leave it in the coat, it can cause a buildup and it is designed to be rinsed off. So I'm going to towel dry her now, ready for her little dry. When we're drying a drop coated breed, it is really super important not to rub the coat and it can be quite easy to do but what we want to do is just pat the coat so it dries, just gently pat. So patting the coat dry helps it minimise the amount of knots and tangles um, as we're drying so if we start sort of scrubbing the coat with the with the towel it can actually start to tangle up her little coat and especially those legs because they are um, the hair is quite long on them so she is all clean so I'm just about to begin drying her but the bathing process is so important because it actually keeps your dog's coat in really really top condition so using conditioner making sure we're using the right techniques when we're shampooing so pulling the shampoo through the coat instead of sort of scrubbing it um, the same as a conditioner and it will actually start to transform your dog's grooming routine and it actually will make your dog's coat more manageable with the brushing and a lot more enjoyable for your little dog. So thanks for watching guys. If you would like to learn more tips on grooming or grooming your own dog at home, um, definitely subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell as well. And until next time, happy grooming guys.